In tonight's Healthier Me, when's the last time you felt like you got a really good night's sleep? For many, restful sleep is just a dream. That could be because of an untreated sleep disorder. Brittany Glazer reports there's a new screening tool that can help you identify the risk and the comfort of your own bed. Concerns. Miranda Morrow is a full time mom of two and carries a full workload outside of the home, a combination she says can leave her feeling pretty drained. Most days I feel exhausted, like I just don't get enough sleep. Work um, full time and chasing after those kids is uh, exhausting. Morrow has wondered for some time if her lack of quality sleep could be caused by an undiagnosed sleep condition. That's what brought her to Dr. Philip Connor at the Sleep Disorder Center of Louisiana, where patients are now offered in home sleep studies as a first step. Whenever you do an initial evaluation, it can pick up people that have a high risk of apnea and be able to address them in the comfort of their own home. Traditional sleep studies have been done in sleep labs like this, and Dr. Connor says those are still the gold standard, particularly for people with other known medical conditions. So we're monitoring the brain through EEG monitoring to be able to see what the quality of your sleep is. Are you able to get into deep quality sleep consistently over the course of the night? And then if you're not, being able to identify why that's happening. The at-home sleep study using this device specifically screens for sleep apnea, a condition when the airway becomes unstable and oxygen levels drop. Actually looking for the rise and fall of the chest during the night in order to look for respiratory effort. Then we also have the probe, which you actually apply under your nose, very similar to an oxygen cannula. And what that's actually looking for is air flow. Morrow said it was easy to use and didn't interrupt her sleep. I was really concerned about that, but it wasn't. Um, I was still able to sleep on my side um, all night. And it never slipped off or anything. In the morning, you return the device to the center and the data is moved to the computer into report form like this. When this person, 18 times an hour, their throat is closing to such a degree that they're seeing drops in oxygen level. Results like that help Dr. Connor connect the patient with the best treatment plan that usually involves a CPAP machine. Mora just completed her study this week and is waiting on her results. I'm very anxious to know, um, so hopefully I can get some good sleep. <laughs> if the results are concerning, sleep lab studies can be the next step. Many insurance companies are now requiring the in-home sleep study first to screen the patient before more involved testing is ordered. Stay with us. Still to come, Robert has one more look at your evening weather planner.